in terms of the, the magnitude of that um, challenge, it's very rare that you can totally shut down a channel like that um, so completely. And dropping you know, 20,000 tons of steel is, is the way to do it. Originally, the thought was we're going to have to put divers in. The divers were going to have to go down in almost zero visibility, feel around what they were feeling. A couple inches beyond my fingertips. Um, interpret that and then set up rigging based upon what they thought they were interpreting. That would be a very, very slow process. But we had this new technology um, called Coda Octopus, but it's basically a three-dimensional um, 3D sonar, which takes all these all this different data that the sonars are, are getting, stitch it together into a three-dimensional view of, of the wreckage field. And that would allow us to go down, and you can look at it from all different angles. So you, you can see this structure here. Okay, this is the truss section A. And then the engineers can say, okay, well, that's truss section A. They can go back and look at the drawings and say, okay, we know truss section A weighs 200 tons and is connected to truss section B. So somehow we have to separate those two sections while it's in the water. And so then we could look at the way this, um, w the way it was built and then the way it ended up on the bottom and we could make decisions and develop lift plans and cut plans.